Cornegay, and he missed it close. Got to convert those. Good high-low entry. Can't allow this guy in the open court. He's devastating in the open court. He's a blur with the rock in his hand. Blur is a good word for him. Double team. He tried to get it to Williams, and it's stolen away. Williams got to step to the basketball. And now a foul. Look at John. John. Oh, John set the stage early. Look at John. Look at John. He set the stage early. He looks like a heavyweight champ. You talk about Ali and Frazier. I think he can take both guys. Built a little more like George Foreman, though, man. <laughs> I like that. I don't think he will. <laughs> I don't think he will either. Tim Higgins Seven. made the call. Ebers missed outside. Kept alive by Kittle. Kittle showing his versatility. A good rebound in that matchup that we had. Eric Ebers didn't play that game when they blew out. That's right. Down. And a foul the other way. If you remember that game, Brad, what was really big from a strategic Standpoint, Villanova played a box in one, and it really created problems for Georgetown. I think we'll see that here today. Ebers had bruised his hip in that Pittsburgh game and missed the Georgetown game Dick and I were talking about. Steve Lapis, he's doing a little talking already. Both coaches have come out making themselves known. Ted Valentine and Tim Higgins have already taken an earful. John Cahill's our other official, by the way, tonight. There's Victor Page at the line. He's had some good moments. You gotta remember this, he's a young player in terms of making that transition out of prep school to the collegiate level. Very difficult a lot of times for a young guy coming and being a factor on a team projected as one of the heavyweights in college basketball. As can be the case many times, especially with freshman Victor is kind of streaky. He could be in a bad streak or a good streak. He hits one of two. It's two one early. And here comes a look at that two two one, which ultimately will be a one three one pressure. He's Williams at the point. Evers, you gotta cover. I'll tell you one thing, if he gets open in the pressure, you can find him the basketball, and he gets into the seam, he'll make that open shot. Iverson with Williams on, the great crossover dribble, and Williams cuts him off on the baseline. Iverson just retreats and buries a three. I'll tell you, he loves the Garden. Seven times he's dressed up and played here at the Garden, at the Mecca. He loves New York City. Averaging 32 a game in seven games. That's pretty strong. Somebody said, do you love the Garden that much? And he said, actually, I'd rather be in U.S. Air Arena. I just have to play well here. <laughs> Plays well everywhere. Here he comes. Pulls up. It scores. I'll tell you, what great hands. He gets those great, great field. Good bounce off the floor. You don't want to see that start nope. for that little guy. And he pressures Williams at the backcourt. Big East player of the year defensively is Iverson, so you can never relax when you got your hands on the ball and he's on you. That's what makes him so special. He does it on both sides of the floor. Lost it. The fellow may have gotten a piece of that. Here comes Victor Page on the run. And the left hand goes. I'll tell you, goes to goes. They're going to have to really stop the transition game. Defensively a little slow getting back, pulling over. 8-4, Georgetown. Well, Digger said he likes speed and quickness in a short three-game run. Kittles packs it down to Lawson. Nice move by Jason Lawson. All right, you talked about it earlier. He had the big night last night. They got him to rock inside, and he was a dominant factor against a good Providence team. A team that will be heard from very young. Shooting well over 60% in his last 17 games, Lawson with, of course, stuff like that. Al had it stripped by kills. See, I think if you're building over, you've got to control the tempo of this game. You can't run up and down the floor with a good down. Eric can touch it, but didn't touch it for long. And six on the shot clock. Let's see if Page puts it up. He will. Jerome Williams is going to be guilty of a foul, but that's his aggression on the board that does that. He was huge last night at 20 points, 16 rebounds. He made one great play last night on a steal, on an inbounds play, on a baseline, missed his first shot, the second effort. I thought that changed the game right there. Just got a rotating to his own, played a key three zone. Ebers got to cover wherever he is. They like to use that skip pass. Kittles for the lead. He can shoot it. A little MCI special. Gary Kittles. Oh, you had to go oh, long oh. distance.
to and uh, kiddingly it wasn't funny but you know it was funny <laughs> but the last three regular season games he missed if folks don't know because of a unauthorized use of a uh, university long distance calling card. well i just wanted to explain it now because i got me into i used that all year i used the mci special or the at t special downtown long term oh, i'm not smart enough to think that way. <laughs> I should have just let you sink instead of burying myself with you. Iverson. Three. Oh, I'll tell you, the trifecta's falling tonight. Howlin' Iverson streaking, baby. Net Three barely four. moved on that one. And he's talking to Alan Williams on the way down court. Kittles trying to leave it for Lawson. Jason didn't go to the ball. And a turnover against Villanova. 15-58 remaining first half. This one starting as our first one did with excitement. Hoyas by two. Allen Iverson, a little quickness, a little fadeaway, Jay, tickle the twine, and one more time, NBN, nothing but nylon. And Mr. Kittle says, watch me play without the ball now. I'm going to move. I'm going to show you. I can shoot it too, Allen. I can shoot it. Look at this. Seven possessions for Kittles, five for Georgetown, touches seven and five. Look at the point production. Those are points accounted for passing the ball as well. Both guys obviously big for each club offensively. Iverson's eight points all off his right hand with two threes and a deuce. Oh, here goes the box of one now. The box of one to Chasing Iverson. Lawson tipped that up and over the shot clock. So it'll be Georgetown ball on the baseline. He's really become a factor on the interior. He's gotten better and better as the years progress. Right now, Georgetown is going to be facing the box and one as Williams is going to chase Iverson. They chase him, and at least they got him off the mark on that one. I thought they bumped him. I thought they bumped him right there. Cornegay got a tough rebound. Williams is going to have to have a big game at that point guard spot. It's hard to have a big game when you're playing against that guy defensively, too. He's open right now. Alvin will take it. Williams, the rebound of the foul on Cornegay from behind. Big East going on here. The ACC semifinal start tomorrow, 1.30 Eastern, with Georgia Tech in Maryland. And at 3.30, Wake Forest will take on the winner of the North Carolina Clemson game that is going on. That's championship week continuing from Greensboro tomorrow on ESPN. I think it's hard to believe when you watch Georgetown play that they were blown out by Pittsburgh, blown out. I don't mean the fact that they were beaten, but blown out by Pittsburgh and teams like Syracuse. They're so good. They play so well together. They really regrouped when they beat Memphis. Harry Kittles got up in the air and was hoping Alvin Williams was going to cut toward the wing and didn't. And it's just an air ball pass errantly out of bounds. Third turnover against the Wildcats, and they're still down by two. I think that's the game that turned him around and make him a big-time team this year. When he beat Memphis and 48 hours later, they blew out Connecticut. Page, they're giving him a little bit of room, so he's penetrating and going up high, and he gives the Hoyas again a four-point lead. Also look for the back cut to Kittles. And Kittles cross courts at the Williams. He's wide open. Didn't get the roll. Othella Harrington up high for the rebound. Good rebound by Othella. He's got to make those open shots out to Williams. He's had two open shots. He's come up empty. Passing the drop at the page. Nichols is a good long-range shooter. Missed outside. Iverson got the rebound somehow. He's an amazing rebounder for a little guy as well. And defensively, he'll pick your pocket. He can definitely get up despite the fact he's only on a six-foot frame. He can jump. He's a terrific player. Page is feeling it, I guess. Well, he's wide open because of that zone. And he doesn't play at Iverson. He's going to get a lot of good looks at the goal, and he's taking advantage. 16 to 9 now. 20 second timeout. 20 second timeout taken by Steve Lapis. Trying to slow this thing down as between Page and Iverson, they have done all the damage. Eight for Page and eight for Iverson. 16 to nine over the Wildcats. Well, Victor Page taking advantage of the concentration on Mr. Iverson. You know what I love about Allen Iverson? Brad, I was watching everything. the warm-ups. <laughs> uh, everything, even the warm-ups, I was going to tell you. He is so focused in a warm-up situation, and they say, John Thompson will tell you, in practice, he's unreal in terms of his intensity. Like he's always trying to prove that he wants to win a spot on the club. And he can dress. You should see this guy dress. He can style. I saw him in a 
the locker room several times after games. He's like a million dollars in that locker room. <laughs> very friendly, very warm with us every time yes, we he see is. him. Outgoing young man. 16 to 9. Villanova needs a score this trip. Trying to refocus. Nice entry pass. Oh, Cordegay. That's as far away as I've seen a miss slam. It came all the way out and landed right at midcourt. That was a nice pass by Lawson. Yeah, great pass by Jason Lawson. The high low. Look, the wrap around. He seals off really well, Cornegay. They get the great look. Look at that look. Look at that bounce pass. You can tell they work on that execution. And another hole filed down low. Yeah, Timmy Higgins jumping right on it. So is Teddy Valentine and John Cale. Page gets that one. Georgetown still has a shot a lot of people think for a number two seed. They win this game. Steve Lapis will give you all the facts why they should be a number two seed, win or lose. Lawson. Oh, tough move with a right hand for Lawson. Yeah, Jason Lawson was a high school star in the city of Beverly Law, but Rasheed Wallace, Alvin Watt, Williams, Mr. Jackson, who's doing a great job also. The guy of Temple. It's a straight 2 3 zone. Hello, Iverson is going to take that to the top of the key. Dished it off, but now inside. Got a push on uh, corner game. Jerome Williams really active, sliding and gliding through the zone. The 2 3 look. So Jerome Williams will step to the free throw line. Those 48 hours when they blew out Memphis, which was an outstanding basketball team, came in over to the U.S. Air Arena and Landover. Georgetown really put the hurt and then came right back and blew out Connecticut. And from that moment on, they became just a dominant basketball team. Freshman Page gets a breather. Two over comes in, take his spot. Jerome Williams, the size numbers that we mentioned earlier from last night, 20 points, 16 rebounds. First point of the night for Jerome. Mr. Thompson, what a career he's had. Certainly heading for the Hall of Fame in college basketball. Came out of high school. When he came out of high school in the Washington, D.C. area, out of St. Anthony's, his program was really in the depths of despair. Almost like what Georgia Tech was facing when Bobby Clemens came there and just rebuilt the program and made it one of the elite programs in America. Yeah, yeah, Ja comes in, and Jerome Williams, after ripping the two free throws, gets a rest. The Hoyas by seven. Constantly looking to try and take you to a trapping area. Jason Lawson. He did that last night against the pressure. Williams. Jerome Williams, or rather, Alvin Williams can't find it, but you got to give credit to Biggie. That's our biggest. Yeah, biggest. Biggie comes in with a big offensive rebound. And Othella Harrington pushes off on Lawson and picks up the foul. Alvin Williams now is open three. He's got to make some open shots. He's too good a player, a very strong role player. He has at times been a good scorer, but tonight he's had some good open looks and hasn't hit anything yet. He's going to try to deny the basketball, keeping it out of Williams' hands. Oops, Terry Kills needs some help in the backcourt. He lost the handle, courtesy of Bella Harrington's defense. Evers did a great job stepping to the basketball. The one thing you must do against Georgetown, you better step to the ball. Looking back at Coach Lapis, Gary Kittles hands it back to the point guard and gets it back for an opening. Now Evers even more open baseline. Lawson, tough rebound, tie up, and possession arrow goes the other way for Georgetown. I tell you, Providence really played Villanova tough. You sat here at courtside and witnessed it. God, Sham God played a great game. I like Billy's line. He said, hey, God can't have two bad nights in a row. Right. And that was great. I mean, he just really uh, played well last night handling the basketball. Well, Villanova must have played great the second half. I missed most most of the second yes, half. Yes, they did. That's when Kittles came to life and scored 16 of his 20. The Heidi White is checking. He had a nice night off the bench last night, but he got in foul trouble. And there's a turnover against La Jolla. Turnover against that box and one. See, they came out of the 2 3 zone, rotated. There's that di diagonal pass. Get it to Lawson inside. Bring it to the big guy. Oh, what a move around Jahidi White. To get around Jahidi White is not easy. I know. He takes up a lot of space. Hey, he played well yesterday. Yep. Came off the bench, was very productive. Here he is on offense. He wheels on Lawson, and he scores. Oh, great move inside. Jahidi White. I'll tell you, showing a lot of agility. He's out of high school out of St. Louis. 
Wake's got two great players out of high school right now. One going to Wake Forest, Lauren Woods, 7-1. Next year, and a young man, Chris Carroll, going to Duke. Kittles around a pick. Yes. Terry Kittles used the screen really well. Come out of Louisiana. He's been super scintillating and sensational in that Villanova uniform. Down to two after the Kittles three-pointer. Now, kicks out to John and back to I. 11 to go, first half. See, they're chasing Iverson every way. He used the screen right there, but didn't get a real good look. Uh, he didn't square up very well on that shot. Had to hurry it because Kittles was chasing, and now Kittles offensively. Ebers, got to get out on him. Uh, he has had a little trouble. Biggie keeps it alive. Hey, Biggie playing well off the bench. Biggie playing big. Look at Biggie. Shoot it, Biggie. There Shoot it, Biggie. Short on that one. Lawson tries to save it. All it does is come back inside to Tuomu. Iverson, quick first step baseline, and he's fine. I'll tell you, you talk about quick. He is quick, quicker, and quickest. I mean, he is so quick. Tuomu said, saw him right away, so I'm giving you the ball, Allen. Can you imagine what a quarterback he must have been? Look at his quickness. Look at him explode on the baseline. I mean, that is explosion. He was a rollout quarterback. All they did is give him a snap and said, roll out. <laughs> go. Forget about wing tees, split tees, every other kind Just of Just go, right? Just go. <laughs> and he's, he's, been, he's been going the last three games. There's his numbers, 36-plus per the last three outings, average-wise. And at the free throw line, if there's a little bit of a weakness in his game, that's probably it, the free throw line. They're shooting number 70 percent on the free throw line. And averaging 25 a game this Steffi, season. Steffi Penn will check in, and Jason Lawson will come out because you know that Steve Lapis is thinking, we got a TV timeout coming. I don't need my big guy getting a cheap foul underneath. Remember in the game that we did, the diaper dandy was brilliant. John Celestan put 20 right. on the board. Iverson gets the free throw. Nine for Allen. The lead is three for the Hoyas with 10.26 to go in the half. All right, Chris. Talk about this one being the 25th anniversary of a heavyweight battle, and I don't know if Michael Buffer did the starting lineup down in Greensboro for the Clemson North Carolina <laughs> game or not. <laughs> Coach Smith and Coach Barnes. They've been battling a lot of controversy down there, and they say they're going to have a love affair from now on. Uh huh. You bet. Lots of love. We lick indeed. Williams still hasn't hit a shot, and that one off the mark as well. Trying to save it was Howard Brown. It comes out to Tuomo. He's got Nichols over on the flank. Jerry Nichols stripped away by Williams, and then Allen stepped on the baseline. So turnover for turnover, but good hustle defensively by Alvin Williams. You know, guys like Tuomo and him really do a good job. See, here's the box of one. Take a look at it right here. And now we're going to watch right here is Mr. Kittles. That's Kittles chasing Mr. Iverson. See how he's chasing him right now? He's going to make him really work. There he is now. They're in a box of one. And you take a look at Iverson. In the first eight minutes, he had eight points. In the last six with the adjustment, he had only one. So the defense for Steve Lapis has paid off so far. The officials now are going to have a little committee meeting at the free throw line. Just under 10 minutes remaining first half. 21-18 Georgetown looking for their 26th win. Villanova likewise looking for win number 26. And don't tell me we're going to have a shot clock problem after what the ACC's had to go through the last couple of days. Wow, I was going to send on my shot clock. <laughs> I was going to send on my clock. My Kmart special. I was going to mail it out to him. I was going to mail it out to him. Well, all. gives us a chance to remind you about the Big 8 semifinals starting tomorrow on ESPN2. We will have number 5, Kansas, taking on Kansas State. Jock Vaughn was sensational in uh, his outing the last time out. That's at 2 o'clock at 4, Oklahoma and Missouri's winner, Iowa State, Nebraska's winner, square off. I think you mentioned John Vaughn. To me, he's the Tommy Frazier of college basketball. Wins, wins, and wins. Forget about statistics. He wins. We want to send our best also to Tommy Frazier. So he gets healthy. Just a great young guy. Got the chance to watch him play in high school. And I'm waiting for Florida. We just hope his pro career is not curtailed by the blood clot problem in his leg. Kittles. Got it. I'll tell you, Gary really feeling it. Wasn't really strong early last night. Took him a while to get rolling. Second half, he put 16 on the board and became the all-time leading scorer in the history of Villanova. Here he's got 11, three of them, three pointers. That's a walk. Walk by Page. See, here's Gary Kittles. He does such a great job moving without the ball. Two young kids. See how he spotted up? He spotted right up to the open area. Put the basketball and delivered. So many kids can't move without the basketball. Can't play the game. 
Ebers, a good three-point shooter, has not connected yet tonight on one of those. And a foul. And a hold on Cage. George nope, Dennis. uh, Jahani White, excuse me. Georgetown has really gotten better, Brad, handling the half-court situation. But that's still an area where you'd rather play them in that area than play them 94 feet. Because 94 feet up and down the court, they get the edge. They really attack the glass on missed shots. But if you can pack it in, play a half-court game, and make them try to beat you from the perimeter and control Temple, you got a shot. Yeah, Heidi White goes out. O'Connor Harrington back in. Iverson, likewise, back in the lineup after a rest. Wildcats try to tie this thing up. At the nine-minute mark remaining first half, Brad Nestle and Dick Vitale at Madison Square Garden in the Big East Tournament Championship semifinals. Already, UConn is in by virtue of their victory over Syracuse in the first game tonight. Celestan throws it away. Georgetown did a great job in their 2-3 zone. Very active in that 2-3 set. Villanova looked out of sync and trying to attack it. Look at his eyes. I love watching him play. So much in control of what he's doing. Page trying to leave it on the baseline. A little bit too much lead for Othella Harrington. Last year he used to go at one speed. Fast, faster, and fast. Yep. I mean, he was unreal. He's learned how to utilize his speed a lot better this year. Even race cars don't go the same speed all the way around the track. Well, you got to change something. Offensive foul. Celestan's had a little trouble since he's checked in. He's thrown one away, an offensive foul. Little Lapis, little smile. He's starting he's from New York City. He's home right now. He's a high school guy here. Coached at Manhattan. Turnover story early in this one. Villanova has five. Georgetown with four. Anderson. get a double team. He's got it back down on top. He's going to face a lot of double teams. That for Page was a gift because that pass was intended for Othella Harrington from Yaya John. It skipped off Othella's hands, and Page picks it up, and he's got 12 points. I'll tell you, really active. Victor Page in the right place, taking advantage of the opportunities. He's in that zone right now. 2-3. Oh. Celestine fly by Iverson, and Iverson on the out. Oh, you ain't going to catch him, baby. Hello. Hello, New York. This is my kind of town. Allen Iverson sparring in the big city in the Big Apple. Victor says, I like that, Allen. I like that, Allen. Iverson with 11 off the break on the turnover. And you can't turn it over against the Georgetown Hoyas as they do so often. They will make you pay the price. They're up six. Down by six with 7.48 to go in the half as we give you a Big East rewind of Allen Iverson's performance against Villanova on Saturday. Regular season finale, a route 106-68. He was part of the route. 37 points and oh. eight rebounds. What a shot that was. And what a start he's already had tonight. 11 points for Allen. I want to see him in a sprint. I want to hook him up with Carl Lewis. Let's hook him up with Lewis. I want to hook him up with Deion Sanders. Just let wow. those two go one-on-one. -on -one. They blow Dion away. Dion, you got no shot prime time. Entry pass after Pan had trouble handling it. But now the tie up with Othella. And this will stay in Villanova's half of the court. I'll show you how good the Big East is this year. Right here on the score, hey, Georgetown. They beat Georgia Tech in the United States. And Villanova, they beat North Carolina. Not once, but beat them twice. Beat them once by a deuce and blew them out by 20. Just showing you how strong this conference was this season. That NIT went over Georgia Tech. Victor Page, the freshman, had his career high with 25. And he's off to that kind of start tonight. 12 for number 42. Double team on the baseline on Williams. Alvin struggled a little bit tonight. Either has got a good look. He just can't find it from outside the arc. The fellow Harrington clears to Iverson. Here come the Hoyas. Good rebound by Othello. Not getting many touches on the inside, but certainly giving a guy down rebound in. The aforementioned Victor Page, 15. He's got a smile. King Victor really delivering tonight. Really making Villanova pay. Putting all that concentration on Mr. Iverson. Biggest lead of the night is nine for Georgetown. Williams and Ebers got to make open shots. They got to make open shots. Othello doing a great job inside, keeping the ball away from Lawson. Oops. He's got to be careful now. Slap the floor. John 
Cahill had a look at him as if to say, you don't want a technical on top of the person. Look at right here. Othello says, yeah, I'm going to show you I can play defense. I'm not going to let you get the ball inside. Look at me working on a defensive end, Othello. I'll tell you, he's going to be a good NBA forward. A big forward. He can shoot the basketball. Believe me, he is going to make somebody a solid player. Remember that we that we started yeah, in the NBA? Right. John Saunders played this out last night. John really uh, follows George Dad. I mean, knows everything about him. He used to work down in the Baltimore area. And he's right, 100% right about what Reed's doing. And he can do it, so can Mr. Harrington. I think of Reed more like Jerome Williams, the way he plays. Rebound by Iverson. Yeah, they are very similar to the rebounders, but Jerome a little bit quicker, a little bit more active. Iverson rushed that a little bit too strong. Oh, and it's Yaya. Yaya does the cha cha in the yeah. lane. And Yaya gets John to say, la la. <laughs> I really like that. My job, delivering. 32 21. Kittles. Squares away, too strong. Got to make those open shots against the 2-3 or you're in big, big trouble. He's going to pull it off the backside. Iverson will bring it and deliver it. Got it. Got to get a timeout. Get a T.O., baby. Come on, get a T.O., Villanova. 11-0 run by the Hoyas, sparked by the little guy who just buried a three. 14 for Iverson. The lead, likewise, 14. 14, Chris, 6-17 remaining in the first half. And really two factors. That defense has really bothered Villanova. Number one, the defense, the zone. And number two, Villanova unable to make open shots. And guys like Williams and Evers not able to convert. See the backcourt scoring. All but six of Georgetown's points have been put in by Page and Iverson. Kittles wide open. Perry's been hot from three-point land. He's the only one giving him a shot right there. With a three-point shot, you can get back in the game quickly. He's got 14 points. Well, the Stars are sure delivering for us tonight, aren't yeah, they? Oh, the Stars really have stepped <laughs> up. They have stepped up big time. See, Ostella missed them right there. Had a little screen and roll. Two guys chasing Iverson, Kittles and Lawson. Now Lawson has to backpedal down in the paint to help out. Iverson around Evers now. Three guys were on him. It didn't matter. I'll tell you, just incredible. You can sit here and all watching this kid perform. I never thought I'd see in the 90s someone as good as Isaiah Thomas when he played at Indiana and led the shy, introverted Robert Montgomery Knight to that national title. 16 points for Iverson, 14 points for Kittles, but it's Georgetown controlling this thing right now. Very active in their zone, really active Georgetown. Kittles open on the other side. Boy, he's got it working out there. Five threes for Kerry Kittles. I'll tell you, he and Iverson really stepping up. Now he wants to check them. He said, I'm going to score, but I'm going to try to check them. Allen says, you can't check me. Lawson with authority, pulls off the miss. 10 point, Georgetown lead. Georgetown does a great job getting back defensively, transition. Nice entry pass to Cornegay for Evers. Cornegay with a good move inside, good look. Slash to the goal. Got it down to eight. Back in single digits it is with 4.25 left in the half. Three-point shot made those happen by Mr. Kittle. And a whistle. 20-second timeout gives us a chance to check in with Wesley Visser. Wes? Brad, just to follow up on Othello Harrington, in Georgetown's 23 possessions so far, he hasn't scored any points. In fact, he hasn't even touched the ball yet. Brad and Dick, he's not involved in the offense, but so far it hasn't hurt them. Wow, look at that. Really unbelievable. You would think that he would have to have some touches on the interior. But because of the way Iverson plays and Page and how effective they are. And you know what's beautiful? He has really accepted this role. This kid was a high school All-American first team player when he came out of Jackson, Mississippi. But he wants to win. And he does a lot of the little things. He sets screens. He also rebounds. He does many of the intangibles that are so important to winning. And he realizes with the presence of a guy like Iverson, you're not going to get as many touches. Let's see if he touches at this trip. See the half court game, they should. You want to keep the big guy happy. You're a big guy, you got to keep him nice, wide open, get it to him. Touches it there and kicks it back out to Page. Page runs into a stone wall. And Lawson, I guess, is the middle of the wall. There's about three guys there that could have called it out. No, it will not be on Lawson. It's going to be. Williams. So Vic 
Victor Page goes to the free throw line at the 401 mark. Iverson's going to get a rest. I tell you, talk about defense. When you think about Georgetown, I think back to 1984. You talk about suffocating defense. They put it on your big time style. And if you don't believe me, pull up Joe B. Hall and ask Kentucky what they did to him in Seattle. And then they beat by Slamma Jamma. And that was Mr. Olajuwon. They had Gene Smith. Remember him playing a point defensively? You don't want to see that. I mean, I'll tell you something. You don't want him to guard you, I guarantee you. Backboard of Georgetown tonight has been sensational. They have 31 of their 38 points between Page and Iverson. Kills was sliding down and somehow saved that thing. And now Howard Brown on the outside got the desperation pass of Lawson. Yeah, near the three and a half minute mark. Remaining first half. Hornigay out to Brown. He's open and hits it. Brown with that good open shot makes it count. Coming off the bench. Boomer has gotten a lot of help throughout the year with guys stepping off the bench. Chipping away now. It's down to seven with Iverson on the bench. Let's see if they can come up with a steal or a stop. Not that way. I'll tell you, Jahadi really giving him positive minutes. Did it last night as well. Great look. Getting the ball to the open man. I tell you, if he went airborne, I would be clearing out. Get out of the way, baby. Get out of the way, the big fella. He comes out on corner gate. And a foul before the move, and it's going to be on Jahadi, who got in foul trouble last night. He has two tonight. Pretty nice player to bring off the bench out of Cardinal Ritter High School. They list him at 270. I don't know, I don't know about the 270. What was that taking earlier in the year? I don't know. He's not had a lot of team meals. I'll tell you what, Georgetown, I know it's nice. Look at that body. Though. Nice. He's huge. Catholic school. They're going to have to pass the basket around a few more times to be able to feed him. I mean, wow. You can't do it all with a couple of fish and a couple of loaves, can you? <laughs> and they throw it away. <laughs> Got a great attitude as well, Jahadi. Great high school program. Cardinal Winner, Lauren Woods. Remember the name also. Carroll. Look at that one. He just wants to sit in the pine. He wants to be on the floor. He wants to be the main event. He doesn't want to play Pine City. And a foul. Harrington and Tuomo out on him. Tuomo picks up the foul. There's the numbers tonight already for the two guys we talked about coming in. Iverson with 16, Kittles with 17. He carries five out of six outside the arc. I'll tell you, all the stars have stepped up tonight. Ray Allen, it's been a night, John Wallace. You show me what you can do, I can show you what I can do. Anything you can do, I can do better. Now, Mr. Free Throw Lawson trying to keep it alive, but Othello ripped that rebound away from him. In fact, maybe before this game's over, I'm going to hook up with Leslie in a nice duet, and we're going to sing. Anything you can do, I can do better. Oh, we'll sing the better half of that one. Oh, nice look. Oh, he bricked it. He bricked it. He bricked it. Almost pulled down that glass backboard. Nine-point game with two and a half to go in the half. Get Lawson involved. Get him some touches inside. Get him to the big guy, Jason. Brown wide open for three. And got the roll. He got the roll. It's so soft here. That's like the Atlantic Ocean. It's not like a teacup. Chip it away again, Villanova. Down to six. And again, the three-point shot. Showing you how it's revolutionized college basketball. How it can get you back in the game quickly. Alan Iverson, you know he'd love to be out there right now because his team's lead has gone from 14 to six. But Page keeps doing it. The freshman has 17. What a big performance by Victor Page. I said, as Iverson looks on, he had his best game of the year against Georgia Tech on this floor. And boy, he's repeating that performance tonight. First time's two and two playing here at the Garden thus far this year. Speaking of two and two, uh -oh, right here, here two. this one out to two. Oh, it's a great oh, look. Lobo out in the break. Oh, it says, I'm a cheerleader, too. Look, I can cheer for the Warriors. He says, let's go, Warriors. Number 22 with a steal to two a move for two. Two for two. I like that. Kittles on the flyer. Air ball, White with the outlet right in front of us to two over again. I'll tell you, Johnny White doing a great job inside the big fella. We're going to post it up. Oh, and he missed them. He wanted to rock right there inside against Cornegay. Well, fella Harrington wanted it there. Came out to the high post and Page didn't give it to him. And now he is upset he didn't get a touch. He's demanding at the free throw line and not getting it. He's a little frustrated right now. Yes, he, he is. I'm low. telling you. Page. Blocked by Brown. Are they going to call a foul? Yes. That looked like all ball, but Teddy Valentine didn't see it that way. And 
Othello Harrington goes out. He's talking to Coach Thompson right now. But he's still shaking his head, and he is frustrated. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's one of the great high school players when he came out. Seen him, guys like Jason Kidd, Dante Bright, Roderick Rose, and Corliss Williamson. Those five formed the USA Today All-American First Team. This guy was a heck of a player. In high school at Archbishop, Car Archbishop Carroll, then he played at Providence. I think Coach Thompson recognizing the frustration of Harrington thinks that it might be better just to have him rest the last 42 and a half seconds of the half. What a big half by Victor Page. That's a frustrated center. I'm telling you that right now. I don't care what anybody says. Well, he wants to touch the basketball. You go up and down the floor. You want to get a few, touch, a few touches. Yes. He a wide drove, drove there. He probably should have taken the open shot. We are 25.6 away from halftime. Chris and Digger will be coming up with an update from the ACC. GW and UMass. And Marquette Memphis in Conference USA among the scores and games they'll be looking at. Hey, Cincinnati. 25 seconds from now. Cincinnati, Brad, had a big win today over Louisville. Arkansas, I think they're in. Hey, we're going to put Arkansas in. Relax, Nolan. You're in now. Got the win today. They throttled South Carolina. Arkansas is in. Whoa, big suey. <laughs> Tell the Prez to relax. The Prez and Hillary can relax. They're going to be in now. The Hogs will be in a big dance. Ebers. He moved the net with that free throw, an 82% free throw shooter. He had an 0 for 6 game against Georgetown in that regular season finale. Tonight he does have one field goal. They could have anybody in line. I know Kittles didn't play in that game, but against Georgetown in that game, they could have had Michael the Magnificent Jordan Wouldn't on the matter. floor, and I didn't think it was going to matter. Not with this little guy who's checked back in, having the game he had, and having the game he's having again tonight. 16 for Iverson, but it's been the freshman Victor Page in the Georgetown backcourt that's led them in scoring. Then, you know, I just thought about it. I think if Michael was there, it would have mattered. Probably. <laughs> <not. Yeah. laughs> it would have mattered. You see we were 53 the other day. Final couple of seconds. Iverson for three. And that'll be the last shot. Well, he used the clock really well. Managed time. A 10-point Hoya advantage. Kittles played well, but Iverson and Page played better. 46-36 at the break as we send it to Chris. Brad, thank you. So Dick Vitales helped Iverson out to the tune of Victor Page actually being the leading scorer in the ballgame with 20. Hey, Brad, I'll be right back. I got to run. I got to go see Mr. Check. It's upstairs about the Knicks job. Oh, I'm going right. to get it. They told me I'm going to get it. I always dreamt of coaching here when I lived across the river in Elmwood Park. So I'll be right back, Brad. Take over, and I'll make you one of my assistants. I heard you wanted $5 million a year to do well, that. Well, I'll even go a little cheaper, maybe three and a half. Well, they lost under their interim coach tonight at Philadelphia, I understand. I'll tell you, that roster right there. They should be changing coaches. Keep Patrick Ewing and get rid of everybody else and trade them and start anew. Maybe they want to hire Spike Lee. Hire Spike Lee. He's always at court side. We start anew in the semifinal game. We know that UConn's already in the championship game tomorrow night. Page misses the opener of the second half and kiddles a rebound. I'm going to try to get Ebers some looks, but they really checked him very aggressively. See, there's a look for him right there. They ripped it. That's what they got to do, get him involved offensively. He's got to make some shots. And the second field goal of the night for Eric Ebers. Othella Harrington got a touch and a spin and a hook. Didn't go. Page cleans up. Victor Page, you can't allow those. You can't allow second effort. That's the first time Othella's touching in a long time, Leslie. Yeah, that's true. It's been an extremely frustrating night for Othella Harrington. He's been looking for the ball, but he just hasn't been satisfied. And when he did come out of the game, John Thompson, uh, I don't know how you would express this, sort of encouraged him not to be upset. <laughs> well, Harrington... <laughs> game still has no points, Bob. I like the way he said that, Leslie. He encouraged them. He just encouraged them. He said, oh, fella, don't get angry. Yeah, that was pretty diplomatic, Les. That's a good way of putting it, though. 49-38. And team possessions, 31. Only three times has he touched the ball on offense. Just took his first shot of the game, that hook shot, and uh, came up short with it. I can hear John right now. I don't care about those touches. You understand, old fella? I don't care about those charts they're keeping. I care about one chart that it says on the left we have more than they have on the right. 
Williams, that's his first basket. Well, Williams steps up now, and so does Ebers. They hit their first two shots. First thing we said is that they had to produce to help out Kittles in the backcourt, and they have the first two field goals of the half for Villanova. And they haven't been able to stop George. Now, look at it clear out, a little isolation. Oh, there's a stop on Iverson. Lawson sent that one back from where it came. But you got to jump on a loose ball. You make the great shot block. You got to get the loose ball. When Russell was with the Celtics and he played with Mr. Thompson, he blocked shots. You better believe it. The Celtics were on it. Williams. Ranch caught again. Cut off on the baseline. Page. I don't know. He might be a little bit dangerous, though. He's got to get after it. Got to get after it. Got to get after the loose ball. There's a five. A push. Yeah, Ebers with the push. I think John Thompson has said, I learned so much basketball being around Red Arback and also from Dean Smith when he coached with Dean in the Olympics, 1976. I'll tell you one thing about John Thompson. He has certain philosophies, certain beliefs, and he's a fighter and a battler. And the one thing, his young men that remained there four years walked down the aisle down at Georgetown. to 40, 18 remaining in the ball game. And this is not, you know, tenors in the front and bases in the back. This isn't boys to men. This is uh, boys listening to the man. I'll tell you, they're listening. You see their eyes? The focus is like a fa father figure to many of them. They believe so much in his words and his advice. Williams fouled by Lawson inside. Nice dish inside to Jerome Williams. This is a really strong Georgetown basketball team, reminiscent of their great team. Gonna be, I'll tell you one thing, when people look at the draw on Sunday, they don't want to see Georgetown in their section. And I'll tell you, Rick Bettino, I'm telling you now, Rick, the basketball gods have said they're going to be in the section with Kentucky. Jerome Williams at the free throw line, only two points tonight after his 20 point outing last night. Speaking of where everybody's going to go, men's tournament special 627, the women's special to follow, that is Sunday night on ESPN. You know, St. John's had a big win also over Georgetown. St. John's early next week will make an announcement that Brian Mahoney will step down, will gracefully step down, step aside, and then the hunt will be on for that job. They lost 80-72 the other night here. And what more than likely was indeed the final job of coaching for Brian. With that jump shot by Williams, I know a guy that would turn the city upside down. A rising star, another Calipari. Fran Frischella of Manhattan would be dynamite. And a steal by Kittle, by do like it. Here's one again in the run. Oh, nice look. Williams. Nice look to Alvin Williams in transition. Williams with six points in two and a half minutes of this half after Dick and I said, hey, where's he been? And Cornegay with a nice dish. The St. John's had that big game. You hate to see any coach lose his job. I really do, because I like Brian so much. He's a quality guy. Iverson all the way on the baseline, runs out of real estate, throws it off Lawson. Good move by Allen to make sure they get possession of the basketball. And it'll be Yaya Ja to check in. Bubakar Isle goes out. As Iverson now working on the baseline, do a great job of cutting him off. Look at Lawson. He cuts him off. He's not going anyplace, Allen. Can't go anywhere. Here he is on the outside. Iverson picks up a double team of Kittles and Williams. Inside, Page. Othello Harrington with a follow. Othello says, don't give me the ball. I'll just go get it off the glass and I'll convert. Georgetown for years have really, really been masters at using the offensive rebound, just like Louisville for years. 53-44. Even though Victor Page is the leading scorer, 23 points. I think he's a little out of control right now. His last two or three shots have been hurried and way off the mark. Ebers. Lawson goes down trying to get the rebound, and they're going to say that Ja pushed him. Watch Othello without the ball. See, he tries to make himself big. Now he's trying to be active. Now he goes out. He anticipates the rebound to the left side. I really like Othello Harrington. and I really do. He's got an excellent touch for a big guy. And what I like is his attitude and his dedication here trying to do the little things. Nice entry pass to Kittles. Count it. There he's got a chance for a three-point play. Well, Chase Squared put the rock right there. Very quick release, and he laid that up on a glass. St. Augustine High School down in New Orleans. 
Recruited by Roly Massimino. There's the conversion on the glass. Almost wasn't going to go to Villanova when he found out there was a change in coaches. Look at Lewis Russell. Russell, come on, Kerry, come on, Kerry, can get back in the game. He had to beat Steve Lapis and finally said, yes, Steve, I will come. 20 points for Gary Kittles, same as he had last night. We got a good one. It's down to six. It is. It's it was down to six. 14 in the first half. It was 10 at halftime. It's been as many as 11 in this half. But Villanova Wildcats, as they've proven all year long, even when they get down, they don't go away. You don't win that many games. You don't beat the likes of Purdue by 20, and you blow out teams like North Carolina by 20. You're not having a good basketball team. Kittle strips Page and does it on the other. Oh, what a great transition player. He's a PTP. Absolutely awesome. He is super, baby. Mr. Kittles. Yes, he said, I know Allen can play, but so can I. Four minutes into the half, the lead's been cut to four. They're going to shut down now. Iverson. See, Page has cooled off a little bit. Nice pass. Iverson down low. Nice pass. Page and Mr. Iverson making music together. Villanova, six out of seven from the floor this half. Second bout of our heavyweight doubleheader tonight. They're exchanging punches with 15.35 to go. Who's going to meet UConn for the crown tomorrow? Iverson. The rebound. And it hit the backboard, I think. Yes, it goes over to Villanova. Goes over to Villanova. We've got a timeout with 15.29 to play. Georgetown still in front, but by only six. The GMC Sierra. Age, and here comes a left hook by Kerry Kittles. 55 49. But this guy can punch with anybody. Allen Iverson. And we've got a six point ball game. I'll tell you, you know the fight game. We're going to hook you up with Charlie Steiner. The two of you ought to talk some fight history. Uh, nobody can touch Charlie. Charlie really knows the fight game. I remember that night well, watching that time in close order with my dad. The special male bonding in that one. Steal by Georgetown. Nichols will bring it down. Went for the score. Ball comes in. The lead pass by Williams. Nobody arrives. The game out Hello. Hello. He's a high riser. How about that pass by Alvin Williams? Alvin Williams got great size. He's been an excellent role player. Every time I've seen one like that this year was Pippen and Jordan. Not a Very bad combination. Not a bad combination. Pippen and Jordan. Harrington with the left hand, a little bit short. Lawson got a hand in front of him. 55-51. Here comes Villanova. They can cut it to two. Villanova getting a lot of confidence with each possession. See, right now I'd go to Jason Lawson. I'd get Lawson inside. They're extended on a perimeter. Lawson should be a factor inside. Evers around a pick up Nichols in the air. Hornigay against Williams. And Williams Jason. cuts him off. Jason, the ball inside. They're extending. There it is. Nichols with the low rebound. Iverson on the other end. You got to get back. And a foul on Lawson. Fouls on oh. Jason Lawson. Is that a good looking pass? There's that look by Williams, and there's Mr. Kittles finishing it off. What a career he has had. What an unbelievable. What I like about him, he's excellent in transition. I gotta believe he's gonna be a top five pick. Now here's a young guy getting his degree as well. We heard today, as I use Bob Gibbons has said, told me last night that Kobe Bright, high school star from Philadelphia, will be going straight to the NBA. Hey, I'm not saying that the young man might not be able to put points on a board at that level, but missing so much much out in life being a youngster enjoying a college campus he comes from a great family he's a guy who is definitely academically ready I'd hope Kobe would go and grace the college campus Allen Iverson only one of three from the free throw line and everything else has been pretty brilliant again tonight I don't know about you guys your college days are something special they really are I'd go back if I could, but I'd miss you so much. I'll tell my daughter, tell me she graduated. She's on the workforce now at Notre Dame. She's, I miss Notre Dame. I wish I was back in school. Five point, Georgetown advantage. Just under 14 to go. 
Evers doubled on the baseline and fouled on the baseline. Teddy Valentine. Yeah, if that's on Iverson, it's four. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's on Allen four. What I like about Valentine, he makes the calls with authority. Write this down, partner. Write it down. The score, 56 I was. 13 48 left. Yes, He's going to have to come out. 56 51. Remember, this could be for a number two seed right here. Even though Villanova, I feel, is a lot for number two. Georgetown, I think, has to get to number two by winning this game. And Allen Iverson is not touch him. Oh, there's the contact. Michael Wilpon, by the way, agrees for Washington Post. Outstanding writer. Wow, as Alvin Williams stepped up this half. Alvin Williams has really stepped up. Shots are falling. Michael said at halftime and some fans wanted to know, well, why aren't they number two? Why don't you guys pick up number two? got to win this game, Georgetown. The lead has been sliced to three. Page cut off by a double team. May have gotten away with a walk. White, strong. Move. I'll tell you, he has become a real force coming off the bench to Heidi White. He might only be a sophomore, but he's a man. And he just powered his way for his sixth point of the game as Iverson looks on. 13 plus remaining. 58 55, Georgetown. Villanova's done a better job with tempo, with rhythm. Trying to take away that superb quickness and speed. Penn from the foul line. Making open shots now, getting into gaps and seams. I look for John probably to make an adjustment and come out of the zone. Zephy's first field goal of the ball game. Remember the play without Iverson, not only a great offensive player, but a premier defensive player. White. Up and down. Oh, Jahidi! Jahidi! Oh, Jahidi! Jahidi! Oh, yes, Allen, cheer for the big guy. see the missed shot we're gonna watch the Heidi the big fella the big fella he's gonna go right to the rack look at him he's gonna take it up strong head fake take it up boom power done wow Lawson is gonna sit Morligay <laughs> picked up the foul now, Heidi White, there was no hiding with that slam he just made. Oh, I tell you, what a performance he has given him coming off that bench, both in the first and second half. Yesterday as well. Is he going to get the roll? Nope. Othello went strong for the stick back and didn't get it. Kittle's trying to find a handle. Thing looks like it's a little bit warm right now. Tough Time out for Villanova, 22nd, taken by Williams, who was cornered in front of his own bench. Good timeout. Getting that timeout right there. This possession becomes big. You're down five. Well, we have had stars all week shining in Manhattan at Madison Square Garden as we look at another Big East encore and an encore performance. We'll get to see an encore tomorrow night of Ray Allen. He was sensational in our first game tonight. 29 points and seven steals after kind of an off game yesterday. He put it together tonight. And the third-ranked team in the country and the top seed in the championship tomorrow night at 8.30. Dick and I will be here to bring you that one. And who will be the opponent? Will it be in one corner, Allen Iverson, or in the other corner, Harry Kittles? Whoever it's going to be, it's going to be quite a show here at 8.30. It'll be really rocking here. Kittles for three. to Georgetown. That last foul, by the way, was not on Cornegay. It was on Lawson. That's why Jason had to sit. That was his fourth. Georgetown's really got some nice people they can bring off the bench and give them quality minutes. So I'm coming out with pressure right now. I pressure Georgetown and Page. Cornegay with a steal. Harrington mishandled it. White almost got it back. Evers running to a spot. Kittles kicks out the Evers. Got an opening, but not enough of one. And now a man in front is Nichols. Georgetown right out in transition. Nichols giving him some positive minutes. Coming off that bench. Playing without Iverson and a plus seven. 62-55. 11.45 left with Dick Vitale, Brad Nestle, Olivia, Madison Square Garden. Big East semifinal, Villanova and Georgetown. The survivor goes on to the UConn. Kerry Kittles off the dribble. Follow by Cornegay. Nice tip by Cornegay working on the interior. And all Marco Polo, a transfer, came from North Carolina State. See, I go after Page now. Page is not comfortable with the ball. He hasn't played well this half. I go after and trapped him a little bit. Put some pressure. 
Pack it into Harrington. Othello goes up against Cornegay. The follow doesn't go either. But Page picks up the loose ball and a fresh 35 for the Hoyas. Second and third shots. Not going to win when you give him second and third shots. Oh, 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 with an entry to Othello. He's going to try to do it, but he was fouled. Tim Higgins with the goal, gets a foul, and ran before the walk. Some of the fans wanted a traveling call. Instead, the foul inside. He leads even on a bench. Look at him. He leads on a bench. He says, okay, Jerry, sit down now. He leads to the bench, puts the towel around him. He's a cheerleader. He's a player. He's a quarterback. What a backcourt in high school. He played with Rutman. Can you imagine a kid from Wake Forest? What a backcourt they must have been. Alan Williams has to go out with some foul problems. Alvin gets his fourth foul. Steve Lapp is coaching and coaching. Look at that Jason sitting on a pine as well. Tough when he got two starters sitting over there with four apiece. Timeout. Ten minutes, 56 seconds remaining. Bill and Herman can only close their eyes and look. The Hoyas by five. Is this your job, but perhaps this time an NCAA bid on the line? We'll update the overtime. Now back to Georgetown and Nova. Brad and Dick at the Garden. Enough to make you bite on a towel, isn't it? I'll tell you one thing. If you're Providence right now, you're going to bite on a towel because if Fresno State wins that game, it could be three out of that conference, and it could really hurt someone like Providence. So that game is big. Jerry Park trying to get to the NCAA. Page. It goes. Victor Page. Comes up big with that basket. I'll tell you, they're plus two with Allen Iverson out of the game. They are. They've scored eight. And Villanova only six since Iverson went out. And this matches Victor Page's career high on the same floor against Georgia Tech as he tips that one in and Howard Brown picks up the foul. And now Victor looking for a new career high. He's got 26 big ones for Victor. Not bigger than that three-point play. Not bad for a freshman in the Big East semifinal. With his, star, with his star teammate sitting on the sideline. Now it's back to eight points at the ten and a half minute mark. This is a big possession right here. Villanova's got to get a score in this possession. Harry Kittles has 25, but he packs it into Cornegay, and he's fouled by Othello Harrington. Cornegay's got to convert these free throws. Othello, about a 79% free throw shooter, missed his only other, or rather, uh, Cornegay, 63% free throw shooter, I should say. Wow, you need to look close right there. That looked ugly, that one there. There's two guys sitting on a pine, four fouls each. Steve Lapp is going to have to make some decisions. You can't allow this to get too far away with the double figures before you bring in those two guys. Chuck got the second. Go, 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 I got it. Steve's thinking right now. That's, that's the anguish count. he's going through right now, you can bet. He did a great job of Manhattan. Frank Michelle following him. He's done a great job. It's Page, Tuomu, Al, Harrington, and White on the floor for the Hoyas. That's a little different look. Page really has stepped up with Allen out, and so has White on the inside. A nice drive by Bubakar Al, but I felt biggest got his way. Biggest good rebound. Kittles. Hadn't shot in a while. Followed his own miss. Almost tipped it in. Page clears the board. Victor all the way. I'll tell you, good transition player. Victor Page making all the big plays right now, Brad. That's five in a row for Victor. And Iverson smiling, saying, hey, the freshman's doing it. Picking up my slack. Well, taking some pressure off him with that lead right now by nine. I mean, I can relax. I get ready for tomorrow night. Boy is up nine and just over nine left. Biggest wide open, takes one dribble and got it back. He wants it down low against White. Draws a double team of White and Harrington. When in doubt, kick it out to your star. He just had some big moments earlier in the year against North Carolina, against Miami. Evers lost it as he went up. Turnover. And two others says, let's calm this thing down and use a little time. He can't waste any more time. He's got to get his stars in. He's got to get Williams in, and he's got to get Mr. Lawson in. This game will start to get away from him. We're to double figures right now for his score. Williams is waiting at midcourt. 
Georgetown's going to use a little clock. We're going to be very close to the eight minute mark, maybe before Williams gets back in there. White cut off, kicks out to Page with 10 on the shot clock. He takes a three. And he got it. I'll tell you one thing. Eight straight points by Victor Page. And the bench loves the jubilation. Look at Allen. Allen's doing a dance. Look at Allen. He's doing a dance. King Allen says, I love you, Victor. Thanks a lot. La Hoyas trying to turn the page into tomorrow night's title round. Iverson in foul trouble, so just turn it over to the freshman. 31 for Victor Payne. That hopefully we'll get some there. What about the uh, number right now? UConn, do you think they'll be a number one seed? Do they have to win it to be a number one seed? Uh, I think they, I don't think they have to win to be a number one seed. Uh, I think they, Kentucky, and uh, UMass have the number one slots tied down, but who knows? I'm not on the committee. I'm sure you've seen a lot of NBA scouts were here over the past uh, three days. Do you think that's worth college basketball? Well, it's good for college basketball to have pro scouts here, but I don't like the idea of taking underclassmen out. I think it's a real problem for us, but I think it's a bigger problem for the NBA. Thanks, Mike. As you saw, Victor Page has been sensational. I'll tell you what a play he made right there. He has scored a bundle here with Allen out of the lineup. He has 16 points. Uh, uh, Georgetown has 16 points. He has 10 of them since Iverson went out, Dick. Yeah, he's really been sensational. He's done it the transition basketball. He's done it by making the open three. He feels like the man right now. Watch the ball. He feels like the man. And he's controlling it at the point as well. And using some time. Right and joy of McKinley Tech. Oh, what a nice, nice dish. dish. What a nice dish. Victor Bench is doing it all. Victor Bench doing it all. Biggest lead of the night is 16 with less than seven minutes to go. And it looks like Georgetown is going to go to the championship game tomorrow night. I'll tell you, the diaper dandy has just stepped up really big. Almost similar to the first game where it was a tough basketball game and then all of a sudden it was spurt by Connecticut. Hey, we're supposed to be watching Allen Iverson. We're going to take a look at Mr. Page. I mean, there's the left hand to go right to the rack. He, he goes coast to coast. Faked the behind-the-back pass and then took it in. And then that time didn't fake the pass, got it to the big fella, and White slammed it home. I can dish right over to White. Carnegie wide open from the foul line. Short, Lawson keeps it alive, kittles for three. Got it. We're going to see three-point shots galore right now by Villanova. They're going to let him fly all over the court. 27 for Carey. Victor Page has a Big East tournament record for a freshman. He has 33 points. And he's done a great job handling the ball. Oops, There's still right there. <laughs> well, they deflected. He went out of bounds with deflection. He's got a lot of size for a guard as well. Since I've seen 18 10, and it's been Mr. Victor Page. The show's belong to him. You know whose record, freshman record for a Big East tournament game he broke for that last bucket? Since oh, last year. wow. <laughs> his man's record. His buddies. With five on the shot clock, he gives off to Othello Harrington. Othello leaned in and traveled. Teddy Valentine with the goal. Walking violation. 74 61. A timeout being taken by John Thompson. But the inbounds pass comes in, so they don't get the timeout. We can tell you Georgia Tech and Maryland tomorrow and Wake Forest against the North Carolina Clemson winner, our 130 and 330 semifinal matchup from Greensboro. John Thompson had his hands up, and there was, it appeared, a dead ball situation, but he didn't get the timeout call. Kittles around, a pick, no good. And a foul on Tuomu. With 5.39 left here, let's check in with Chris Fowler. And back to that whack overtime game where James Gray, he's got to be on Vital's all-hair team, has taken over. Watch him knife through the lane. They also get the blocking foul call. Fresno up five a minute to go in overtime, guys. The all-hair team. Huh? The all-hair team. I like that, Chris. The all-hair team. Victor Fresno. Page goes out. 
Georgetown fans on their feet as well they should be. 33 points. And all his teammates, all his teammates. You know what's beautiful before? Watching Allen Iverson lead the cheers, yep. showing that a guy was not wrapped up by the fact that Pouton had sunk him because he was sitting in foul trouble. That's beautiful. That's what a team is all about. Williams got up in the air and no place to go with it. It's still going over the ball, though. Jerome Williams will check back in for Georgetown. See, I think yeah, the White goes out. Hey, Brad, I think the Villanova wins over North Carolina twice, who has a high power rating. I think the win blowing out Purdue has a high power rating. Even the loss here, I still think they're going to get a number two seed based on what they've done all year, the long term, rather than the short haul. I really believe that. Iverson almost flew right over the top of Steve Lapis on the going over the bench trying to steal that pass. Williams with Iverson on it. They're going to have to start his next set shoot threes if they get a chance. Kittles blocked by Othello Harrington. Williams comes out of the pack. Jerome straight up with it. And Ebers clears off the miss. First time does a great job taking a rebound and kicking it out with the dribble. They like to roll out. Look at many easy layups against Georgetown. They rotate back defensively. Williams, a flyer on the left side. It goes and a chance for a three-point play. Well, they get the three-point play in a different way, the old way, the traditional way. 11-point ball game. Less than five minutes left now. Allen Iverson and Victor Page, the backboard of Georgetown, has been sensational in this game as Victor Page is set to check back in. That'll be some backup, backcourt matchup when you think about, for example, wow. tomorrow. Look at that, Iverson and Page in the backcourt. 52. That's Villanova overall. Wow. Think about Sheffer and also Allen. That'll be an interesting matchup. But you know what? This game is far from over. I mean, you're looking at an 11-point basketball game against a great basketball team. They had won 10 in a row. Pulling over were playing brilliantly before the Terry Tittle suspension. Alvin Williams, 11 points all this half. Caps off that three-point play. It's a 10-point lead for us now. I'm going to stop right here. They're going to stop. They're going to score. They're going to the single digits. They can get this game to be a little interesting. It's hard to even catch Iverson to try to stop him. I'll tell you, it's tough to pressure him. See, they go to a 1-4. John, I'll tell you, he knows what he's doing on that sideline, the big fella. There's nobody even eight feet away from the basket. They spread it out. I mean, it's impossible to stop him. I'm going to tell you something. At the next level, when they try to play man-to-man, -man, forget about it. Who's going to check him one-on-one? I mean, he's so superb. He's so quick. 21 for Iverson. They just spread the court. That was great coaching by John Thompson. He said, okay, guys, we're going to let you try to check our little guy. We're going to go to a 1-4, and you try to check us. He said, Gary, you can't check him. Gary, Gary, say, please give me some help. I need some help. Somebody help. Where's the help? And there's no help. Too slow coming over, Corner Gay. But Gary said, please don't show this again. Lawson, don't show this. Lawson or Corner Gay can only help so much. They're both in foul trouble. Well, as soon as you step out and give help, he dumps it off. Right. He's got a layup. Alvin Williams, we talked about his almost non-existent first half, but I got to give him credit. He has really stepped forward in the second stanza. He has 12, all 12 of his points. Watching Allen Iverson earlier in his career, watching him now, it's like watching a different player. It sure is. You're watching a beautiful painting and furl in front of you, watching this young guy just blossom. He's got that Muhammad Ali cockiness about him. I used to love Muhammad Ali. Muhammad used to say, hey, you give me any jive, I'll finish you in five. <laughs> and if the crowd dares the boo, I'll end it in two. And if you ever call me a bum, Brad Nestle, I'm going to knock you out in one. <laughs> That's a Muhammad. He had so much confidence. And it wasn't bragging if you could back it up. That's right. He walked the talk, he talked the walk. <laughs> Steve Lapis is He's got a headache working here with 10. A 10-point deficit, 408 left. Well, a lot of people would like to have the year that Steve Lapis has had. Their goal from day one was to be able to make a big dent in the postseason after last year winning the Big East Championship, but becoming really extinct early in that tournament, getting beat by Old Dominion in that first round. He looks out as Iverson and got another free throw. You're at his mercy. They got the lead. They spread the court. They put the rock in his hands. And you are just begging and begging and pleading. Look at John. John was doing a little dance on the sideline. How do you know John could do the little soft shoot? Williams on the wing. Page.
Cage is down in Kittles right now. Trying to get a, away from him. Trying to pack it into Lawson and Othello Harrington with a foul from behind. You know, Georgetown had that great run in the early 80s when they won the championship in 84. They went to the final in 82, the final in 85. Bud Light storyline. Villanova has gone cold from the field despite Kerry Kittle's brilliant night. Georgetown all night long has been hot. And Iverson and Page, the big story with all that scoring in the backcourt. Hey, Lionel Richie all night long, baby. They've been doing it all night long, the two of them. They can play a little Lionel in the locker room. They'll be dancing on the ceiling now when this one's over. Lawson, much quieter night offensively for Jason than last night when he had the big outing. Five for five from the floor and 13 free throws. I tell you one thing, when you think about Georgetown and their dominance in the early 80s, three out of four years they went to the final game. Iverson and Page, the two guards, battling for that rebound, almost decked each other. Iverson comes out with it. Now, see, it that's back. a different from last year. Sure. Last year, he would have been flying to the basket, going about 200 miles an hour. Yes, John's got to like that. That's maturing. That's developing. He's looking at it. He said, you can't check me, guys. Don't check me out here. There's no way you're going to check me out here. I'm going to play with you. I'm going to play with you. You're at my mercy. With five, four. This is out to Page for three. Air ball. Shot clock violation. That missed everything. And a timeout with three minutes and 11 seconds remaining. It looks like the Hoyas are going to get to the championship round tomorrow. 78-67. Kittles on a runner. Followed by Lawson. Jason Lawson with that follow. What a game. Chris followed at his Fresno State. Hang it on. They need that. New Mexico. And a foul on Ebers against Victor Page. Just a moment ago when we were during the timeout, we're going. exactly 25 years ago tonight, the fight. And here at Madison Square Garden, they rang the official Madison Square Garden boxing bell five times to commemorate the 25th anniversary of Frazier Ali. And it looks like Iverson and Page are going to win this round and advance to the championship round. I remember that night so well. Joe Frazier in the green and gold trunks, Muhammad Ali in the red with the white piping and the red tassels. And what a thrill it was to watch that with my dad, as I'm sure everybody remembers where they were. But it came to the 15th round and the big left hook and the broken jaw. And Frazier the win. Kittles for three. I'm going to call up Steve Wilson, our president, and tell him you got to get him boxing. you got to get him boxing. you got to add that to your repertoire. 79 69 as Iverson slows it as we approach two and a half minutes. It looks like he's always carrying the ball, doesn't yep. it? It looks like he's always carrying that basketball. Yeah. Oh, Michael Jordan. If he carries it, then God Sham God has it in his yeah. pocket because he palms it or whatever that is every time he dribbles. But he's gone. But he's gone. That's a different ball game. He's gone. Iverson with 10 on the shot clock. Rebound off to Alvin Williams, who's had a good second half. Time running out, though, on the Cats. They need some threes. Here's a two-pointer, Aida, and a timeout call. It's only got eight, I'm telling you. Two minutes to change. Eight. Not big. 2.06 remaining. Yet 79 71, an eight point advantage with 206 left. Gotta make him shoot free throws right now. You gotta try to put him at the line. Can't allow him to kill so much time. Gotta attack the basketball, foul, and hope that they come up empty on a free throw line. As a team, they're not the greatest free throw shooting team in the world. There's that one four setup now. They're just gonna put the rock in his hand and run down the clock. Very smart basketball by John Thompson. Victor Page has been the story tonight. 34 points for the freshman. And now you don't want to foul. You don't want to foul now. It's down to seven seconds left. Page works against Kittle. It's got a shot away. Rebound Lawson. They at least got the ball back without any further damage done. That damage was done though using that clock. They did a great job. They took off a lot of time. So you got to make something happen. You can't be playing with the basketball. Jeffrey Penn on the drive. Too strong. He's going to get the loose ball. Page. Tie up, and it's still Villanova basketball. Right now, Villanova out of timeouts. 
Georgetown a full compliment uh, that they may or may not even need, and everybody shooting two free throws. Big trouble, but I'll tell you, I've seen some miracles before. You talk about an eight-point deficit with guys that can fire to three. Yep, you talked about it earlier. That's the equalizer. If uh, Kittles or Evers can get free outside that arc, you can change the complexion quickly. Right now, you got to try to pop Evers for a three. You gotta pop him out of a special play. You gotta pop him off the screen. Only try to screen. Georgetown did a good job fighting that screen, but they call it for a hole. Now, fouls either. And that's two shots. And no time off the clock. No time. You can get into a full court pressure. I think John Thompson, you're a little concerned right now. This baby's not in the record books yet. Even though I think a lot of fans believe it is. Crowd is kind of quiet. Whoever does win this in the record book will have their 26th victory of the season. Carl Ravitch and Gary Miller await on Sports Center. Of course, Nelly is gone from here at Madison Square Garden, the 25th anniversary of Ali Frazier. We've talked about it a lot. And Major League Baseball spring training, all that and all the scores and highlights from around all the college basketball here on Championship Week on ESPN is about a minute and 14 seconds away. You talk about Major League Baseball. I was down there to see Jim Leland the other day and Jimmy Fergosi at spring training. You got he, good tickets. Oh, he, he put in a big, big television and he said, hey, I'm watching all the basketball. Jimmy Leland is a fanatic. He and his guys, Rich Donnelly, the coaches, they love basketball. I mean, love it. They can tell you about every coach, every player. It's incredible. Does a great job. My favorite manager, I'll tell you something. They don't have the personnel other people have, but he gets maximum out of his people. Ebers needs these free throws to cut it to a six-point Georgetown lead. Well, you get it down to six, you're looking at a two-possession game. Ebers with nine points on the night. Has not been a factor from three-point range, though, tonight. This is where North Carolina for years has really excelled. Dean Smith, which has separated him from many. Handling the clock and really coming back with his club. Now to go to a face guard pressure. So he tried for the quick steal if you don't get a foul. Here's Iverson in the open court, pulling it out. Great play again. Foul him. Kittles comes to get it. Well, great play again about Georgetown. They post up. They post the ball. They'll let kick the ball to Iverson. They post up. They did a great job of bringing up Mr. Harrington and getting the ball right to Allen Iverson, knowing they want the rock in his hands. Allen will go to the free throw line where he's 5 of 7 tonight. 23 points on the night, which almost seems like an off night for him, considering he had 38 here last night. But that's because he was in foul trouble, and Victor Page took over for him. I'll tell you one thing, John has really done a great job adjusting to his personnel, knowing what he has, knowing he has the superb quickness of this little guy. He's really maximizing his use, really getting him and taking him advantage of all his speed and quickness. 24 and 25. Not a bad night, huh? 25 on a bad night. Wow. And he sat quite a bit. Eight-point difference, just over a minute left. And now Villanova knows they need three-point shots. They just can't trade free throws. Williams on a runner. And lost out of bounds by Al and Williams, who were battling for the rebound together. These are really two solid basketball teams, just like the two we saw in the first game. Legitimate big-time basketball clubs with a real shot of being there at the ultimate end. Clubs that have the potential to win six games in a row. Quickly, Penn with a jumper. Kept alive by Kittles, who swatted it out for a three-point attempt by Williams. Now it's, it's all over. Williams ahead. It's all over. Here it is. Exclamation point. Jam City. Hello. The bus driver's running out. Steve, the bus driver's running out. He's starting the ball. This one's academic. It's over, Fowler. It's over, Phelps. You were right, Digger. Quickness and speed. For the seventh time tomorrow night, it'll be number one against number two for the Big East Tournament Championship as Iverson gets the rebound. Look at the little guy handle that rock, baby. Look at him handle it. First team All-American, a superstar. There was the left hook that broke Ali's jaw. Allen broke Syracuse back, and now Iverson with a jam a moment ago. Part of a 27-point night, and so the two contenders will have at it tomorrow night here for the championship. Georgetown and Connecticut, number six and number three, respectively, in the country. 
And just to watch Iverson against Allen, the Allen and Allen show, and then kind of throw in Victor Page. <laughs> wow. Well, put it down. He's going to have 30. He's going to get 30 again tonight. Look He's at the backcourt we're going to have tomorrow. Iverson and Page against Sheffer and Allen. And Allen. That's scary. And some supporting people around him as well. He'll end up with 30 tonight. Tell him, get the ball, foul him. He'll go to the line, convert him. He'll have 30 again. Stripped it. He created that. Williams he to Nichols. Nichols and Williams go down. Oh, missed the jam. 